Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Oxen Free. So, let's go ahead and get that key real quick. Also, sorry for not having an episode of Final Fantasy this week, but I really felt like playing Disgaea and, you know, showing off some progress. I still can't believe I goofed up that stupid thing to get the damn axe, and the axe looks so cool! I'm gonna have to do it again. But oh well. Clarissa! What are you- Clarissa? How did she get up there? What, what the are you hell? doing? Clarissa, where have you been? The last time we saw you jumped out a window. I, I mean, I thought we thought you were dead. Clarissa, what? Oh God! Christ, what's wrong with her? Clarissa, can you can you hear me? Okay, just what do you guys want? This isn't. Uh, this is just really lost its charm. I have to say, Alex, uh, please, can you just? I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something, please? Just try anything. Like radio time. I can. Uh, I'll try. Okay, I'll try. Clarissa, can you? Can you hear me? Alex, come on, just please try and get her down. Shut Alex, please, your somehow. mouth. No, no. Clarissa, can you come down? There's one. Uh, she just looks awful. Yeah, she's possessed by a whole demon. Oh, what the hell? You think you can control me? Clarissa, I'm I'm trying to help you. This is this Help me. Help me. How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. We just tell us how to help you then. We're trying to help you. And you will. Soon enough. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Whoa. Is she okay? Or she's... I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? You scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Because that didn't look great. Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. Okay, that so she remembers that much. Ago. How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? Clarissa, you were dead a minute ago. Do you do you realize that? We saw your body, no joke. Really? Okay, well, I'm alive now, so hallelujah. That's, so you're that's just That's too calm. No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. What? Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's <laughs> Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Oh, guys, okay, I know you think we're still playing truth or slap or whatever, but this isn't real, so... Well, wait. Clarissa hasn't gotten a chance to ask something yet, so... Yeah. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother You're are all- not blaming me for this, Clarissa. This is- this is so outside of logic, of reason, of anything that could possibly be anticipated. It's really not her fault, Clarissa. Jonas, I'm sorry, but you don't know who you speak of, dear. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. Don't listen to her, okay? She's pissed at the world, and she likes to take it out on me, and, and none of what's happening makes any sense anyway. I'm not. It's not no, a... No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. Clarissa... And the giant, lit-up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa! It doesn't make it my fault! Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick! Anyone wow. would have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough, Clarissa. That's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't believe. Ugh. 
She is Nona, no, it wasn't my fault. Really. I don't. Just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is going to get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you... All the outs in free. What the hell? Hey, whoa. Man, do you ever... Do you ever get deja vu? Jeez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Uh, I guess you don't remember, like, anything that just happened, right? Um, to what anything are you referring, exactly? <laughs> uh, Clarissa being possessed and shrieking at me would probably be the big kahuna here. I... Huh. I sort of can picture Clarissa being, like, weird or something, but... I don't know, it's kind of a blur, to be honest. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is, like, right there. So, let's try and whatever our way in. Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. The lock looks pretty worn. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. Alright, let's kick it. One, two, three. <sighs> Alright, awesome. Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Oh, that's what that means. Oh, okay. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says... Their wall radios? All the way down Wave to 50? Lock? Whatever that means. 50, okay. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're Ooh. like ID tags or something. Uh, okay, cool. Great. Ooh, Not wait. Not gonna lie, I kinda wait, want here's one. like a... Wait. What is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just want to... Okay, here. To... Okay, so steal a boat and leave. All right. We'll do that then. Whom it should concern. This island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? Uh, I have been compelled shit. by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards <laughs> Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Inside you'll oh, find man, two I missed it again. wall equipped so I radios. Attention. I have <clears> commandeered <throat> the old phone, Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within. And discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> to whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself. Margaret Adler. <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah, we've all had the mechanical unicorn dream, but I think I'm ready just to mm. go home. I don't we think totally I've had the mechanical unicorn dream. I have to bail on that one. Oh wait, I, I can't check out the mural now? Oh, I wanted to see it. Whatever, let's go. All right, so we're going to go this way. See, I think I screwed up something, though. Because you can make it so that Nona and Ren get together by the end of the game. But I think I had to leave Nona up there with Ren. Don't remember how that goes. I think I was supposed to do that, though, to make it so that they get together. And I goofed that one up. <laughs> Alright, so where are we going? Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. 
Oh, but the sun is not swimming. out. The sun is, I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was going to be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Am I? Did I get stuck in time or something? No, I know. Days can't move forward. Like crazy fast, right? I feel like we were okay, practically just accosted by those soccer players. No, I mean in this time period. Oh, geez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? This is like the not worst a bitch here. Where's, where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? You want to know who Jonas is? He's my new stepbrother, okay? Do you... Do you get what's happening now? All right. Can you just call your new friend your best friend for my sake? Stepbrother's kind of encroaching on my territory there. Yeah, it's like when my mom calls her cat her special little lady. It's like, I'm standing right here. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Clarissa, doesn't this... Don't you remember... We're all on the island. Nona's there. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy. Oh no. Oh no, don't do that to Nona. Don't say that about Nona. Nona's it's a been good a spell kid. Since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's Truthfully, I <coughs> um, I Ah, sorry. I think yeah, I <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry because I do things like that. <laughs> oh god, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> well, can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. Oh no, now it's just me and Clarissa. So... Uh, <laughs> do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? Our whole, like, island horror show. Ghosts right, we're gonna and sit here and talk to her. And, and none of this is jarring, like, anything loose? If this is about Ren's movie, I mean, I told him I didn't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so, you know, no thanks. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and, like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever so i think it would be cool if we could like continue to do things together yeah i am um, so she totally was a total understand. bitch and yeah let's uh, do stuff you know cool cool michael uh he loves you like a lot i'm sure you know that but he talks about you all the time <laughs> oh alex did this and alex let the frogs out in science class isn't she hilarious <laughs> yeah well, I love him too. Had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Ah, oh, Jesus, thank God you're back. It's like an eternity sitting here with this one. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, I, I think know I might have made that a little about. too sassy. Hey, I'm interesting. I'm entertaining. See? Even he can't keep it locked up. Okay, all right. I was joking. Don't salt the earth now. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, no, nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah, get me a drink too? Sure, I'll be back. Is it just me or just. It's like Clarissa's okay, I'm here. What's gone the story? through a lot. I want the news. Not I want the Alex first edition. Dead. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I've, I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on, I've missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... Yeah, no problem. Just... Don't get all smoochy smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. 
stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. Oh, you know, I my never God. noticed. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Oh, man. That is. That is sad. She just misses her brother, man. Alex, are you... All right, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for 10 minutes. I was about to, like, slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. Nona, I, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he... I was... It was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. That's one right way to now? put it. Yeah, right now. I don't, I don't know how to describe that one. That's one hell of a ride, though, man. I feel really bad for Alex, because I know she just misses her brother. And as someone who's loved and lost someone, hey, like, super important. why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to, uh, do the whole thing. But it worked out. So great. Yeah, Clarissa's gone, though. Gone? Gone like dead? Or... No, I guess there was a... What'd you guys call it? Like a time loop thing? She pretty much got transmogrified to someplace else. Transmogrified. Sad, those words make any sense to me, but... Yeah, should we maybe look for her, possibly? Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? Yeah. So are you going to try the gate thing, or... Hey. If we're still going to go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. Okay. There we go. Thank you, cool. ladies wow. and gents. <sighs> because I am going to call Ren a lady because he is an emotional mess. <laughs> well, actually, no. I'll call Nona. Nona's being more of a dude right now. She's super chill and she's not freaking out over everything. Nona has the most stable head on her shoulders. I respect her. Not saying that women don't have a steady head on their shoulders. They're actually Jesus, like that house is huge. stereotypical that high school really knew how to live. people. It's like the Look, whatever. Chateau Before I get my foot in my mouth, Adler. we're just gonna get on. How did she get so rich if she was just like a communications person or whatever in the military? I think I said when we got here, her family like owned part of the island or something. I think she just inherited a lot, honestly. Oh yeah, that's right. He did say that. Hmm. What's over here? What is this? I I don't care if you're walking that way, Ren. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. She made a lot of... What should I call these slides? They're, They're not reels. videos. Um, silent memories? Reels. God, huh. man. Ren, you were right. There's like a lot <coughs> here. The Adler family does own the island. And That's here's insane. a combination for a padlock to a chest is all it says. 29, 18... 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? I don't think so. Let's just look. It'll probably just so be more, whatever, banking files or something, but maybe we'll get lucky. But yeah, so, um... I used to work in a movie theater. I used to be the projectionist. So seeing the reels, although those are much smaller reels than what I'm used to, I'm 
used to oh. seeing these massive oh, reels. It's like, a, it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... <laughs> it wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No. no. We looked through all of her stuff, I think. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B? Keys, they... They have to be in the house for the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, no. not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. I don't think so. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. Frequency locks are cool. I would want one. I gotta find the first one first, the problem. Once I find the first one, I'll be able to get through the rest. That doesn't sound friendly. Interesting. Music. Adam. That is a nifty gizmo. I want one for my like house. Finally. Clarissa. Oh, God, Clarissa. You Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Mm. Where? Mm. In the back? In the kitchen? I don't believe you. These windows don't even... They don't work like that. How would you know you've never been here? I'm Look, looking Clarissa's at the window. Here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. I yeah. don't care what she says, just everyone keep your eye on her. Yeah, I just might climb through the kitchen window again, who knows? Okay, we get it. Haha, -ha, carry on. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Hmm. I don't trust Clarissa. How are yes. you doing? How are you doing? Uh, I think about as bad as everybody else right now. I feel like I've been run over with a truck, with uh, acid wheels, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty much been the slogan of the night. We'll make shirts when we get home. I don't see anything here. Oh, oh that's an attic. Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. What do we got up here? I did not mean to go back downstairs. No, 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 Jonas, 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 Jonas. You had it right. We're going upstairs, buddy boy. Come on, Joe bro. Ooh, you know what? This might be the, um, the okay. chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? I don't know, something about ELF transmitters or the submarine's ways of communicating. Um, you can just say you don't know. That's okay. It's gotta this... be the ghosts. Ah, the boat keys. <laughs> got them. All right, let's bounce, let's boys. pop stand. Oh, I just got that popsicle stand. It does make sense. It does. See, whenever right, they, whenever I used to say that, I used boat. to think it was like a soda pop stand. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Ren, don't be a dick. Oh no. Alex. Oh no. Oh Alex. Oh no 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 Come no. Come down here, please. I don't yes, like you. I want to show you. <laughs> Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? 
Run, come on. Ben? We got a boat to catch, buddy. Wake up, buddy. Come on. Nona? Nona, can you... Can you hear me? Um... Creepy seance. Come on, Jonas. I... I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. Oh, my lord. Ah, there you are. Sweet fuck. Now Jesus. we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you signed, signed up for this, Alexandra? No, we didn't. Caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. I meant to know what the hell was going to happen. And yet, without, without understanding, understanding your footing, you still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house. And you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as you. What is it with you guys and all the, the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy with my little eye radiation. Uh, there is, of course, TV? a time limit. Is it. Are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The, the older models have been the X rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation. In another sense. Pay attention. I spy with my little eye a notch. Oh it's god, what's that now? Harder, okay? Eight. Oh no, what's that down? Seven. Six. That's uh, a knot. Is it the, the this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. excellent. Oh, a guest. So oh, sweet Jesus. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little memory. ducks went out one day. Over the hills and far away. Mommy Duck called quack, quack, quack. But four, three, two, shit. One. No little duck. The, the picture of. Oh, of, maybe. I, oh, I hope that Maggie was it. Adler and somebody. Is this Is that it? it? Yes, very nice. Oh my god. Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing. Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time, and a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. Do not have eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so that sunlight blooms into flowers. How about you not? And we will engulf. You can't do that! Think about what you're doing! We can do that, Alex. And what it seems to your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We tried no. it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here on the island. It will be Ooh. a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life and on to the next. You. You had your time. You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some... some accident. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. So they've seen the beginning and the end of the universe? On our acts. We have until dawn, and so will you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. No. Well, that could have gone better. Okay. Oh, back in one of these things again. Hopefully this will work as usual. Alright, wind up, wind up, wind up, wind up. Right, that one's going. That one's going. One more. 
Oh. Oh, it's my friend again. Tell Michael he should go out on his own. Okay, seriously, who are you? Okay, that's gone. So we can go on. Oh, <laughs> I always think I'm gonna be sick. Okay, everybody's first, back. It wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? No, that was very, very real. We're in, like, trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We kind of really are. So, Lots of trouble. I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then, I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. <clears throat> Clarissa yeah, fix is the problem. only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah, but how do we do that? Well, uh, a good question. Maggie, ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the island Mother Goose. She knew something. I mean, look around. This whole house is like a ghost hunting command center. And she thought she needed to tune a radio into the, the source of the problem in the cave. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right. I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. All right. Like but for now, guys. What fields anyway? Epiphany. Wait. Is it a fippany? It's, it's epiphany. epiphany field. Oh, that makes more sense. Ephippany fields. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we're going to leave this episode off here for now. We're going to come back, figure out what we need to figure out, or what we need to figure out. I'm stupid. We are going to figure out what Maggie Adler might know or knew about the ghosts and all that stuff in the next episode. So other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Oxen Free. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, hit that little bell notification so that way you already know whenever I drop a new episode. And I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Oxen Free. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day, everyone.